Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Let's take a look at this residential application. So we have a couple of different patio areas that they would like to have heated up. We have this seating area here, and then this uh, seating area over here. Um, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, well first of all, let's look at the um, any type of issue we might have. So these doors are accordion doors. They are um, steel frame and glass doors, so it's not combustible, but um, you definitely don't want to leave these open right underneath a heater. But I believe they open up kind of a, an accordion style. I know one will swing all the way open and then the other ones push um, along the edge. We do have um, a speaker up here and a uh, fire sprinkler up here that we need to be uh, aware of. And then this section here, I don't see many um, obstacles. now. You know, it'd be nice to hide a heater, but we're not going to be able to hide a heater within this um, little gap area over here because we just can't produce any heat out to the patio if we change the angle. And then also we do have the doors that do um, open up out here. So those are the two things. Now this is a, a far throw for a heater off this edge. So um, out here will not be as warm as it will be under, you know, really close to the heater. So you really pushing and, and uh, throwing the heat as far as you possibly can, which um, will be okay, but it's not going to be ideal for the outer edge of the seating area. You may have to rearrange seating based on um, you know, your function, um, but let's go ahead and see what we can do. So first of all, we have a couple of, uh, these are CD, Infratec CD, 6024 6000 watt 240 volts I have the um, heater slightly down two inches I believe so that we can get the drop around this edge we may or may not need that um, but just in case we do you know you might have to purchase the uh, extended two inch bracket so let's go ahead and see what the uh, dimensions are sorry about that so overall dimensions is 26 feet 8 by uh, 11 5 and the height of the mounting is 10 foot 1 we have this uh, clearance of uh, 1 foot th this is called 1 foot 4 and then the throw that they're really looking for is a maximum of 13 feet which we cannot produce to this outer edge so the maximum we can really produce I think is would be fair to say is be about 12 feet and um, that would be the most acceptable amount of heat. This outer edge here to over here, you know, 15 feet 2 inches. Looking over here, we have the section of 23 feet 6 by 10 feet 1 to the ceiling. And then we have the 8 foot 7 to this edge here, 6 feet, uh, sorry, 8 feet out, and then 6 feet 8 to this edge here. All right, let's go back here. So um, let me turn the dimensions off. So with these 6,000 watt units, I have them at eight foot centers from each other. Um, with eight foot centers, um, I'm able to cast the uh, heat ray out and have acceptable overlap in the center so that this portion of the patio, I would say pretty much you know, probably out to this um, position right about here. You can see where it, you know, penetrates the chairs. So I'd say this would, and back, would be um, the most comfortable space. Now, if you're out here standing, you're not going to be in the heat ray, or at least your upper body would not be. So that's not going to be uh, an acceptable uh, amount of heat over there. I do have these at 35 degree tilts and the way the reason why I have at 35 degrees um, is because I'm trying to meet the clearance at the very bottom edge here and um, we just barely are meeting that uh, so that should be no problem but um, that's why I have the extended brackets on here so I'm trying to drop it a little bit lower and so yeah the um, the overall section is heated well. This area here, you can see kind of highlighted a little bit more, um, is the place that's penetrated the most. You would definitely want a control system on something like this, just because of the fact that uh, this would probably be pretty intense at times. And um, I know that people want to turn them up higher so that you can heat up over here, but 
this person over here might be a little bit too hot. So a control system would really um, uh, help you regulate exactly what temperature you're you're really uh, looking to get. Um, I think the brackets are no problem as far as the mounting of them. They do fit within this edge here, so we're really close to that edge. Um, but that's going to be what we can do on this section here. All right, so over here we have the 5,000 watt units. These are CD 5024 5,000 watt stainless steel units. They are mounted to the ceiling. Again, we have the issue with the sprinkler heads. You'll have to look at your local codes to see what the uh, the code is from the clearance from a sprinkler to um, this electric heater. There's no exhaust fumes, so that's not an issue here, but um, there are codes, I believe, so you have to have your electrician check that out. You can see here with the 5,000 watt unit, you know, our maximum throw or the most uh, acceptable maximum throw is just at our seating heights, which is fine. We got nice overlap in the middle. At different times of the year, you might choose to move your seating a little bit in, um, just so you're you know more underneath the heater. But I think this would be fine uh, in most of the year. This is Southern California, so um, I don't think it gets too cold to worry about having uh, not enough heat with a 5,000 watt at that height. Again, that height was 10 foot one to the ceiling. And I do have these again at eight foot centers from each other. All right. And they are, sorry, by, by the way, they are centered in here. This is a four foot opening. And you can see we do have the uh, clearances. No problem with them. the heaters mounted in the center of the room or of the space up here, I should say. All right, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application, feel free to send us an email to support at patioheat.com. And if this has helped you, please give us a thumbs up. It helps us with the uh, YouTube algorithms. We do not monetize our services here. And without uh, monetization, they don't, uh, su they don't uh, support us in any way. So your thumbs up does. Thank you very much and you have a great day.